If you're shopping for a new PC or CPU, you've likely seen AMD's CPU offerings of Ryzen 3, 5, 7, and 9. But what's the difference? That's what we're going to have a look at in this video. Please do subscribe if you haven't already. It really helps this small channel grow. We're going to be comparing the AMD CPU versions in several key areas. Use case, amount of cores, clock speed, and cache size. It's worth noting there are many generations of AMD CPUs and they produce several different models for each tier, so there will be a bit of a range in the performance mentioned. We're going to look at the most recent generation of desktop CPUs, which is the 9000 series, 5, 7, and 9. AMD haven't released a desktop Ryzen 3 CPU since the 4000 series, due to it being less profitable, so we'll be using the 4000 series edition of the Ryzen 3 in this comparison. Let's start with Ryzen 3. These are typically for entry level tasks like web browsing, office applications, and light media consumption. They have four cores and eight threads, a max clock speed of four gigahertz, and a cache size of eight megabytes. Moving on to Ryzen 5, which offers mid-range performance for gaming, content creation, and multitasking. It has six cores with 12 threads, a max clock speed of 5.4 gigahertz, and a 38 megabyte cache. Now let's look at Ryzen 7. If you're going for a Ryzen 7, you can expect it to be capable of high-end gaming, video editing, 3D rendering, and heavy multitasking. It has eight cores with 16 threads, a max clock speed of 5.5 gigahertz, and a 40 megabyte cache. Finally, let's move on to the highest tier, which is Ryzen 9. This offers extreme performance for 4K gaming, 3D rendering, AI development, simulations, and high-end professional tasks. It has, depending on the model, between 12 and 16 cores with 24 to 32 threads, a max clock speed of 5.6 to 5.7 gigahertz, and a cache size of 76 to 80 megabytes. As you'd probably expect, CPUs range widely in price from the cheap Ryzen 3s to the ultra expensive Ryzen 9s. I've left a link in the description below to a CPU from each tier so you can see the prices in your location. Which CPU do you use, and do you consider the extra price to be worth it for the higher tiers? Let me know down in the comments, and please do subscribe if you've enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.